Okay, uh, right now we see the folder. We download the simply BGC uh, grid 2.55p7. So after you download, you unzip the documents. You can see the folder here. You can see different two files. One's simply BGC grid.gaar. This one is for Mac system. Another one is simply BGC GUI.exe. This one is for Windows system. Yeah. Okay, now we click the JR first. Okay, the uh, pop up the simply BGC GUI version 2.55 B7. Okay, uh, let's connect to the mini USB port on the DS1. Okay, we click connect. Okay, now we see all the information here come out. That's the profile first for the DS1. You can see the basic page, PID, and also the model configuration, and the camera IMU, frame IMU, okay? And also we see other information here. Okay, before we do any modification for the profile one, profile two, profile three, profile four, profile Fine, we need to save the profile first because those profiles your gimbal factory default profile that's very important because we need to save it into your computer first. It will be safety for you because you revise any profile, maybe gimbal didn't work. So that's a backup. So we save the profile first. Let's click here, save. Okay, we can see the folder here, profiles. We can put the name here. Okay, factory. F A C T O R Y, factory profile. Factory profile one dot profile. We save this. Okay. Then we click profile two. We, we click here, save. Okay. Put the name factory profile to that profile. We save into the profiles folder. Okay. Now we go to the profile three. We save. Add factory profile three that profile. Save it. Now we go to profile four. We save it. Okay. Factory profile four dot profile. Number five, profile, profile five, we save it. FACTOR factory, profile five, the profile. Okay, now all the profile, factory profile, we saved. Okay, let's go back to the profile first. After we save the profile, now we can do anything. We can load any new profile okay if you had the newest other profile from factory the aging or beholder team rob design ask you to load a new profile you can load from here load one then you can find the profile okay uh, normally like uh, we put a new profile in other folders so you can open it and the loading too okay now we cancel, okay. Then we do something for the modification for the system first. Because a lot of people or users, you know, they had some problem with the gimbal, you know. They maybe couldn't do the uh, calibration from the reset button, you know. They want to go into the system to do the calibration. That's the camera IMU, okay. They can go inside, click here. You can see here, have a six point, like a camera IMU, that's the ACC, you know. Here's a gyroscope, gyroscope. Gyroscope, you know, normally you don't, you can do the calibration here, you know, first. You know. Then only do the calibration from this section, you know. 
uh, before you do the calibration, your camera need to be left and also be balanced and put the left on the table. You know. Right now, okay, let's move the gimbal, okay? Make sure the gimbal is flat and the left on the table. Okay, let me touch the... Okay, we'll move it up. <laughs> okay. Now, okay, you can see the green section under the white line. Now, now you can click reset in gyroscope. Reset. And, uh, okay, click reset first. Then you see here the green area lower than the white line you can do the calibrate okay you can see here calibrate okay up to this you can close this section you don't need to do okay the frame I'm use the same thing you know if you want to do frame IMU calibration, gyroscope calibration, you can click here. Okay, let's go to the frame IMU. You can reset this, reset here. Okay, then do the calibrate. Click. You can see here. Let's do the calibration. Okay. Now we can close. After this, we can write. We must click the write button in profile first. Okay, now we introduce something about the Behold DS1. Here, this section advanced. We need to make sure the frame I'm used below ya. okay? This, this part, some people revise, don't touch here, okay? Remember below, yeah, that's very important. Otherwise, your gimbal didn't work. Sometimes when you your gimbal had some problem, you can check here if it's the same. And also in the RC section, this section, okay? We take a look. Here's the speed. That's a speed for us to uh, sometimes some customer like to revise speed like this one's for the joint joystick speed you know from sometimes you can decrease or inc increase some you know but we suggest don't touch this area okay but you can revise if you want after revise you must write down okay then we go service area you can see service area you can see the Join stick. Uh, here's the reset button. You know, the two click go to the calibrate gyro. Uh, three click, you can go into profile three. That's for the lightweight camera. Uh, four click uh, go to profile four. Five click go to profile five. You know, uh, most important profile three. Sometimes you know, if you use the lightweight like thousand gram, you know, camera, you can click the reset button on the under the camera you can see the silver mental bar you just click that that will be fine okay this one most time we don't touch okay here is the sound for your do the calibration you know you can close the sound here okay but we don't suggest customer to touch okay after this we see the follow for all this this information here, you can see the speed 45, 48, 45. This area is for the gimbal, rolling pitch and the yaw. Like you, you, you go into foreign mode. You can see the speed. If you feel the speed is little fast, you can decrease from here. Okay, but we suggest don't touch. Okay, that's just some introducing. Okay, most time you know uh, here had auto mod model configuration in basic page.
profile first. Here's the auto. The auto sometimes, you know, when your gimbal may be like a, a turning not correct, and maybe the auto turning yaw access, you know, you can uh, click here to do the model auto testing. But when you click here, the gimbal must be power on, okay? Power on the gimbal, then you can click here, do the auto test for the gimbal system. Okay, that's uh, profile first, okay? You can see the profile first, this section, model configuration, invert area, this tick in pitch model. So the profile two, also in pitch, pitch model tick. Profile three, you can see, other data they changed, but here didn't change. Also, we notice all the number of poles is 22 here, okay? Behold, all the model number of poles is 22. We should remember this point. Profile four, you can see here. Profile five, it's here, but the power changed, PID changed, but this section didn't change. Make sure this part in profile five, four, three, two, one, all the same. Okay, after you check everything, you go back to profile one, please. Because simply BGC, GUI, Xmos software, they remember the last profile you write into. We in here, profile first, we need to write again. Okay, before we disconnect. Because if you write gimbal star, uh, when you power on the gimbal, gimbal start from the profile first. If you save in the profile three, gimbal start from, from profile three. That's no good sometimes. So we must go to profile one and then keep, click right again, okay? The gimbal is power off and the left and the balanced. Okay, now we can disconnect the gimbal. Okay, let's click here or disconnect. Okay, disconnect. Okay, now it's done. That's the first class uh, for the introducing how to save the profile first to profile five in, into your computer system and then do some like simple testing or calibration for your DS1 system. Thank you.